of Bunting EI Marketing Czar, here with my friend Andrea Dale of To The Point Marketing. How are you? I'm good. I'm very Excellent. relaxed because it's not snowing outside. It's not snowing outside and we're here at beautiful Joseph Beth Bookstore uh, in uh, what part of town is this? Rookwood, I guess we would call it. Uh, today we're going to talk about what are the top three mistakes small business owners make on LinkedIn. So what are those? Well, in the time that I've been doing LinkedIn consulting, I've had the opportunity to really look at a lot of LinkedIn profiles. Mm -hmm. And during my workshops, I often get those lovely questions that reveal what's really going on. And when you look at the top three mistakes that I have seen through those right. times, the one thing I always ask people is, what happens when you either look for an invitation or accept one? How do you do that? Okay. How they do that often prevents having conversation versus encouraging having conversation. All right, number two. Uh, number two is how they wrote their profile. It's really good to have SEO, and yet if it isn't persuasive and concise, the computer doesn't make that decision to call you, the person does. So you actually need to have both. Okay. In regards to the last piece, people often tend to have random action on LinkedIn. So they get mm -hmm. on for 15 minutes, couple acceptances, and get off, or they discover they're dropping multiple hours into groups and they're getting nothing out of it. So it's actually, believe it or not, setting goals and what the tasks are behind that. And only doing that, you know, once a day for 15 minutes and really getting a lot out of that. So okay. those are the typical three things that I see Okay. Um, that would be that would make a difference. Okay, so go back. What do you mean by uh, not how, how people pursue and accept LinkedIn invitations? What do you mean by that? An example would be... Um, we all get invitations. If mm -hmm. you're somebody you know and you've been talking to consistently, that's no big deal. You just go ahead and say yes. But when you get a LinkedIn invitation from someone you don't know, mm -hmm. what is your action? And what I tell people is typically it's a standard text of, please be part of my network, which doesn't tell you anything. Come back to them. Don't say yes. Just say, well, why do you want to connect? And the second piece is, if they're a potential prospect or referral partner, say, why do you want to connect? And I would love to speak with you. Because until we speak, the profile is only a profile. You and them are not really people. Okay. Let's talk about the third one again, having goals. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. have an example or, or how can people be a little more strategic about LinkedIn? One primary goal would be to make the most of what you're already doing for your marketing. So okay. an example would be if you're doing a lot of face-to-face -face marketing, your first goal is going to be following up on those people you've met face-to-face -face and linking to them. The second piece, if you're doing lots of face-to-face -face networking, is to make sure you go on LinkedIn events to say you're attending the event, because then people see your name repeatedly, which builds a certain level of, believe it or not, I know them because I've read their name. It's not just getting how many connections can you have. Exactly. It's actually making connections, getting interviews, calls, yes. uh, clients, prospects, that kind of thing. Yeah, so 500 is all well and good. However, what if your first three connections, if 80% of them were all people that were calling you? I think most of us would be buried in business and be happy with right, it. Right, right. Okay, so To The Point Marketing is your business. Tell us a little bit about your business. To The Point Marketing um, has primarily two different areas. One, as you've been talking about today, mm -hmm. is LinkedIn consulting and training for small business owners. Mm -hmm. And also rewriting LinkedIn profiles because it's hard to make it short and well under 300 words. The other piece that I also do is marketing, coaching, and mentoring in which I work with small business owners and sometimes marketing people within larger companies to really speed up the process of getting clients and do it in a way that feels, believe it or not, normal mm -hmm. and not uncomfortable. And with the minimum amount of time and energy. Not the maximum, but the minimum. Okay. Because you're doing it in a way that feels good. How can, how can people get a hold of you if they want to learn more? They can reach me a couple different ways. Mm -hmm. One is, of course, LinkedIn. the web. <laughs> LinkedIn. You can find me on LinkedIn. Not a big deal. My website is to to the point writing dot net. You can also give me a call. My number is 513-561-2642. If you Google me, I am the first link. You'll see the name. It will say To The Point um, Marketing on there. So you can find me on that. But okay. it's like the first or second link. Okay. Pretty easy to find. Great. So I'm going to list uh, Andrea's text here to go along with this blog post. And uh, thank you very much. Andrea okay. Deal. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome.